তারে দারুলো বিদি কি হইলো রে ওই যে দুই ওয়ে দে ফাউন্ড দ্য চাইল্ড দ্য 6 ইয়ার ওল্ড গার্ল अबाउट হাফ এ কিলোমিটার ফ্রম ওয়ে দে লিভ আমার ফ্যামিলির পাঁচজন আই লস্ট ফাইভ ফ্যামিলি মেম্বারস মাই ফাদার মাই মাদার মাই ওয়াইফ এন্ড মাই টু চিলড্রেন আরে সোনার মাই না When Cyclone Sadir came through southern Bangladesh, the storm took about 5 hours to pass over a region, and for 1 hour it was at its most intense. The wood huts with tin roofs that the villagers live in was no match for the cyclone and it obliterated several villages. I asked her how far up were you up the tree when the actual waters came. And she said very very far. And not only that I asked her also, you know, uh, were you on your own? She said no, my my brother was with me. Most of the people live in these traditional villages that are centuries old. They've had to leave their villages and come and set up shanty shelters by the side of the road so aid agencies can reach them. When disaster strikes, victims need access to medical help, clean water, and food. You can see Global Medic has set up a field hospital in Saud Kali. This is the southernmost tip that we could get to by road and you could see here people are lining up for medical care. For days now the people of this area have been lining up outside of this hospital which has been set up. The people from the lineup come in through this first section kind of keep track of of how many people have come in and basically it's kind of like a triage system. If these folks here decide that they have an injury or something that needs to be treated, then they get sent to us over here. We've just traveled by boat uh, to a really remote part of Bangladesh, We've seen a lot of uh, floating carcasses in the water. What you see here is actually a reservoir that the locals here would normally use for drinking water and to bathe in, drinking obviously after they've boiled it, but as you can see by the color, it's quite polluted at this time. A lot of these kinds of reservoirs have actually had carcasses of human and animal in them. Uh, that they've had to basically try to net and and clean out huge lineup starting now to to come and get some of the things that we're giving out the other day we we found a body floating in the water um, we're you know every now and then finding kids that come in they just have like little cuts and stuff and you just treat them and and um send them on the way and then the guys that are sitting with you who don't speak much English tell you after they're gone yeah he doesn't have any parents anymore this here used to be someone's house The need for clean drinking water is critical here in Bangladesh. Global Medics brought in its large-scale Nomad water purification system. We're producing 100 liters a minute every time we use this machine, and you can see we're distributing clean drinking water. We're here today in a small village that has very little access to water and what we've done is we brought in a motorcycle and one of our Trekker water purification systems and we're going to run the Trekker off the motorcycle battery and purify water for the people here today. Now what we want to do is because these people are bringing their own jugs in, we're going to purify the water for them but if we put it into the containers that they bring to us, we're going to have an issue with recontamination. So we brought in Aquatabs as well. So we'll put in the clean water into their jugs and then chalk it with the aquatabs to doubly ensure we're providing them with clean water today. I 
And what we've done as part of our mobile water purification team is we're filling up 1,000 liter tanks, water tankers, which we're going out on the back of pickup trucks into communities that are further away from our immediate distribution point to provide them with clean drinking water. We're filling this up right now with our Explore water purification system, which does about 64 liters of pure water every single minute. So it'll take us about 15 minutes to fill up this tanker, and it's on the road and out to the people. When I came here last week, a, year, a week ago, Muslim Aid staff and volunteers had set up the emergency hospital that set up the water purification units and Global Medic arrived a couple of days later and since then I mean the place is just off the hook. These brothers here, they were with us in Siraj Gonj and Global Medic trained them and the amazing thing was before Global Medic even got here they had already set up and started the whole process. And Global Medic is here, they've set a hospital, they've got water purification, they've got food, they've got blankets, they've got clothes for the people and they're here providing assistance. My my heart goes out to them and it's amazing what a small group of dedicated Canadians are doing halfway around the world. Hooray to you, best wishes and may you always be there to provide when nature devastates people.